Hey YouTube, I'm back this time with a Bath & Body Works haul. So like many others, I decided to take advantage of the flash sale that was online maybe about a week ago where uh, three wick candles were 1050 with the coupon code. Um, because that is the best deal that we've had for quite a while, I decided to um, go ahead and partake and just get what I've been eyeing this spring. Because as you guys know, unless there's a great coupon with it, I'm really not down with the 1450 price tag. So um, if you factor in shipping, I guess, um, this wasn't necessarily like a ton better, but at least it was better. So that's why I decided to go ahead and uh, partake because I know that, especially with the weight of candles, I think the shipping is kind of worth it. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and share that with you now. So the first four candles, and I picked up eight by the way, the first four that I picked up are honeysuckle. So I know that a lot of people don't like honeysuckle because it's just too floral, but as you guys know, I can get down with florals. Like spring and summer, it hit me up. Those are my two seasons. Like I feel like so many people are fall winter people. Nah, not me. I'm all about my florals, my fresh airy scents in spring and summer. So like this is my prime time. Like this is the season that I'm all about. So for Honeysuckle, the fragrance notes are Sweet Honeysuckle Nectar, Peony Petals, and Soft Creamy Vanilla. I'm not sure that I really buy into the Peony pe Petals and like maybe the vanilla, um, but I think just it just smells like Honeysuckle, you know? There's something very sweet, light, and kind of airy about Honeysuckles, like if you've had them or like eaten do you eat the nectar, drink the nectar? I don't know, whatever. Um, but yeah, if you've ever like had that experience of actually smelling a real honeysuckle and consuming the nectar, if you will, I feel like it smells exactly like this candle. It's good, brings back those memories. The next one that I picked up is just a repurchase of Pink Apple Punch. I feel like I hauled this in my last haul, but because I love this fragrance, I decided to buy a second one. This also I know like some people really don't drive with, but I like it. I can see why they complain that it smells a little artificial, but I personally enjoy it. It says crisp apples, sun-kissed melon, and sugar crystals. Very sweet. I think it smells... Um, yeah, definitely like an apple, but again, kind of artificial. Like I can kind of see like a, like artificial apple, like with its stem, if you will. So yeah, I really enjoy the fragrance, although I can see why some people don't like it. The next one I picked up, <clears throat> again, always an annual OG of mine is White Gardenia. Again, one that people don't really like, but because I like florals, I'm all about it. Um, unlike Honeysuckle Gardenia fragrances, at least overall from Bath & Body Works are very heavy. Um, the notes here are classic white gardenia, sweet apple water, bamboo, white woods. I really enjoy it. Uh, white gardenia is definitely a favorite of mine. This is something I will have to melt when my boyfriend is not home because he will just like keel over with gardenia. You know, if he can't deal with honeysuckle or lilac, this might literally kill him. So yeah, I love it, but it is something I'll be melting when he is out on a trip. And the next one that I purchased is a white caramel cold brew. I've had my eye on this one since, I don't know, like January, whenever it came out. Keynotes are cold brew coffee, vanilla sweet cream, and white caramel drizzle. I'm not one who can deal with coffee all of the time, but occasionally I really enjoy it. So I really enjoy um, melting coffee scented things in my classroom. My kids really love it too. This one will not, not go to my classroom. Like this, the candles are staying home with me, but I feel like this smells pretty similar to Yankee's Cafe El Fresco. I don't know, something like that. It smells really good. Definitely a sweet kind of caramely, sugary type of coffee, but I really enjoy it. So um, it's distinctly different than other coffee scents that I feel like Bath & Body Works has done. This is like kind of like a latte type caramely, sugary, like I said, that kind of thing, not just like a straight black coffee. All right, so those are the first four that I picked up. I picked up four others, but wound up not liking them. I picked up a Sun Washed Petals, um, also purchased a Pineapple Crumb Cake. Um, I purchased a, 
oh god i don't even remember now <laughs> how pathetic is that this was like a week and a half ago anyway i purchased four others but for one reason or another i didn't like them or one came shattered so i had to actually go into the store and exchange them so the first one that i decided to exchange was a banana cabana i've also been eyeing this one i'm a little surprised that i chose not to purchase it originally but i'm glad that i went to the store and exchanged one for this so the key notes are sun-kissed banana sea spray and warm vanilla i really like this because i think it's because of the vanilla and the sun-kissed i get almost like if you can imagine like a banana kind of like tanning oil that's kind of the vibe that i get it smells good. I'm excited to um, learn if I'm going to like it melting or not. I can see this as being one that I'll either really love or like not be able to stand. So looking forward to this. I'm pretty happy with the packaging. I feel like the packaging is nice. Most of the time, like I don't hate the wraparound, but I'm just kind of like, I, I want to see the wax. Um, but yeah, I think this looks pretty good and pretty cohesive. So I think that Bath and Body Works did a nice job with the packaging for Banana Cabana. The next one that I picked up is a Waikiki Beach Coconut. This is one again that I get pretty much every single year. Again, not one to go crazy over wraparound packaging, but this looks pretty good. And the key notes are tropical white coconut, saltwater breezes, and sun bleached woods. I always think of just like a heavy floral coconut when I think of Waikiki Beach Coconut. So not one you would want to eat, more so one you would like enjoy the look of or put together with some kind of wreath, I guess, if that makes sense. The next one that I picked up, I don't remember what I exchanged for this one, but I wound up just getting a second honeysuckle because like I said, it's nice and airy, floral, something I could enjoy, enjoy like any time. So I decided to pick up a second one. I thought about getting a second fresh cut lilacs, but I decided to go with honeysuckle instead. And sorry if you hear that, I actually got a new cat. Like, I mean, I still have my old one, but I got a second cat, I guess you would say. Um, this is the room that she's currently kind of confined to for part of the day because she and my uh, first cat are not getting along yet. Like they're still in the transition of being introduced. So she hangs out in here um, while I'm at work and she's in here with me right now. So if you see her kind of like walking around, her name's Lana. She's a, a little tortie and I love her. She's adorable. But yeah, she might kind of like jump on the bed or walk around, whatever. So if you see her, um, I still got my old cat, but she's my new one too. Okay, so my very last candle that I wanted to share with you I'm so excited. This is like my gym. When I saw this, it was like my birthday. Like I was, oh, it was so good. Um, so I went into exchange a candle and then here's what I saw on the, um, like the cash register area, the table, the checkout counter. I don't know, whatever. Um, yeah, check out this baby. So a 2016, Georgia Peach. I, I actually really like the wreath packaging on this collection that was out a few years ago and I did check the date of manufacture. This is an original to 2016 because it was made on the 342nd day of 2015. So yeah, I feel like 2016 was like the last good year I feel for Bath and Body Works generally speaking. Um, so I really like to have candles that are from that like era or that year, if you will. So great wreath packaging. I'm always a fan of Georgia Peach. Um, I've got another one in my cabinet right now and this kind of scalloped lid, if you remember those, if you've been shopping since 2016. So I'm so excited about this. Great fragrance, great packaging. This makes me really happy. I was so thrilled to see this. All right, and then the last two items that I picked up, I went and exchanged my candles on a day where soaps were $3. I've had a few I've been eyeing. So with my low buy um, that I've talked about before on like in my last collection video, I have moved 10 items out of my Bath and Body Works stash. And in line with my low buy, I decided to purchase two soaps. So my rule for my low buy is for every five items, I can purchase one and I'm already kind of like been keeping with that. 
So the first one that I picked up is key lime biscotti. So um, I decided not to pick up a key lime pie candle, but I was very keen to look at this soap and pick it up. The key notes are zesty key lime, creamy vanilla filling, and fresh biscotti. I feel like this one is just lighter than um, the key lime pie candle. I feel like the, a lot of the candles in that kind of like, I don't know if you call it like a sweet shop collection or whatever they launched um, during SAS, but I feel like a lot of the fragrances are nice, but they're just kind of heavy for me. And so I decided to pick up a, um, a soap instead. So I like lime, green is my favorite color. This is perfect, sp uh, perfect, sp uh, hello, perfect for spring. So I decided to pick this one up and I'm excited to start using it. And the next one that I picked up is Banana Flower. Again, with the green packaging, cute picture. I feel like Bath & Body Works is having a great banana moment. So the key notes are fresh banana puree, vanilla bean, and jasmine. Kind of similar to Banana Cabana. I'm kind of getting like a sun-kissed, you know, kind of banana tanning oil kind of vibe. Love it. Great for summer especially. So I'm excited to have this one too. So that is it for my Bath & Body Works haul. As always, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Yellow Brick Expert. Same way it's spelled here. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.